the self, which is of the nature of absolute, unborn, indestructible, homogeneous being, alone exists eternally. It is never particularized. There is no individual individuality for it. The assumption of individuality is false. It is superimposed upon the existence of the self through mere imagination. This imagination is peculiar inasmuch as that which is imagined and that which imagines are one and the same thing. If something is so utterly imaginary, then it is also utterly unreal. The individual or jiva is not true. The self, which is eternal and infinite, of the nature of being, consciousness, bliss, is true. It is what is. If the individual or jiva, which appears in the form of ahankara, the form of I, the supposition of I. If that one is false, then certainly everything by way of an object perceived or conceived that is based upon that individual, that is for that individual, is equally so, equally unreal. If there is abandonment of the supposed object and the supposed subject, that is, the I notion, and everything that I imagines to be, then there remains the certitude of realization of the self or self-knowledge. What are the signs of such self-realization? Signs and characteristics, attributes and qualities pertain to the individual. As for that which is undifferentiated, unformed, without birth and innately immortal, that which is infinite and eternal. How could there be a sign of it with the body, with the senses, with the prana, with the mind, etc.? For the body and such are mere forms in which the I notion seems to be encapsulated when one is in ignorance. In knowledge, self-knowledge, there is the certitude that I am not a body, not in a body. I do not possess a body. What could the body have to do with the self? Likewise is it with the other things mentioned.
The self alone is real. The self alone exists. Pure being, consciousness, bliss. If this is not completely and constantly one's own experience, all that is necessary for realization of it is to question the one for whom the experience is different. In other words, to inquire, who am I? Examining the very existence that seems as if individualized. There is no existence to the jiva except Shiva, that is to say Brahman. There is no existence to the I except the eyeless true I, the real self, which is one without a second. That means it has no alternative, no other no duality. Therefore, inquire into the nature of your own existence, existence which is invariable, existence which is utterly non-objective, for you cannot be an object for yourself. Inquire into the existence that you are. And whatever is not actually the existence, abandon such in terms of its being, of its acting as a definition for who you are. Perceive the